Hello, good evening, girls. Good evening. Hello, Dinora. Hello, Anna. How are you? Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you. Excellent. Okay. Having class. How are you, Patricia? Let's see. How are you, Patricia? Let's check those audios, everybody. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How about you, Dinora? How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Very good to have you in class. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Today we are going to finish. Uh, well, yesterday we finished section three, right? But today we're going to have something like a review about section three. And also we are going to have the midterm exam. Just if by any chances you didn't have the opportunity to work on the midterm exam by yourself, today we're going to work on it, right? So let's see, we are in class number eight. It's a pleasure to see you and let's move on. We are going to start with the midterm exam, all right? So I was waiting for the others, but let's, Let's see if they get into the class with the time, all right? So I'm going to stop sharing this one and I'm going to share with you guys the, let me see, the platform. Okay, there you go. Now, let's see. We have the listening part, okay? By the way, por cierto, ven la plataforma? Yes. yes. All right. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. So let's see. Is this the exam? Is mm -hmm. this the exam? Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. So let me have Alba. Can you please read the instructions? Uh, instruction. Listen to the listen to the conversation. Check the correct answers. That's correct. And listen carefully, guys. You only have three questions. That's it. No more than that. All right. So I think it's pretty good to handle, right? So let's see. Let's pay attention to the audio. I'm going to play the audio. Listen carefully. Okay. Si ustedes pueden, eh, pueden ir a la par haciendo su examen. Si no pueden, pueden ir tomando notas o screenshots. All right. Para que si no lo han hecho, no les cueste tanto hacerlo. All right. Lleven una idea. Esto no lo voy a hacer yo sola, lo van a hacer ustedes conmigo, all right? So let's pay attention. Here we go. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. All right, listen, I want to tell you something that I forgot to mention at the beginning, all right? Si ustedes ven estas están, estas opciones, están en negative, right? O sea, no son correctas. Así que por método de descartar ya tenemos una que no es, right? No es que yo lo haya hecho así, sino que esto es a propósito, right? Porque yo ya lo había contestado con las correctas y pues no, yo quiero que ustedes también participen. 
So I'm going to play the audio once again, and then I will ask each of you the answer. Okay, let's listen to the audio. One. Are you gonna do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he gonna be? He's gonna be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes, he's gonna go to high school next year. Two. So what are you gonna do for his birthday? We're gonna have a party for him. Terrific. When are you gonna have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday but we're gonna have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday, everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you gonna have? Oh, well, we're gonna have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. All right, so let's check those answers. Let's see. Um, na, 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 for number one, Gabriela Choto, what's the answer that you have for number one? 13 years old. All right, excellent, thank you. 13 years old. Elizabeth Campos, what's the answer that you have for number two? Hi, teacher. Iba entrando, pero creo que logré escuchar que dijo Saturday. All right, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm sorry, no me fui que iba entrando, right? Okay. Y no, no le pregunto. Let's see. And da, 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 a boy, let me see. What about you, Jose Vega? What do you have in number three? And number second, and sing song. All right. Sing songs. Let's submit this. And that's correct. There you have it. There you go. Only with this, you have like a point, I think so, right? <laughs> so there you go. Thank you, guys. Let's move on to the next part. Match the questions with the answers, all right? So, of course, I do have the same things on purpose, right? So let's see. Are you going to work this weekend, Jancy Jiménez? Si no lo han hecho, ustedes pueden tomarse el tiempo para ver las respuestas, all right? Solo me avisan. Let's see, Jancy. Are you going to work this weekend? Mm, wait. We are. Oh, sorry. Little C, no, we are not, we are going to relax. All right, very really good, let me check. Okay, excellent, thank you, girl. Okay. What about number two? Sonia del Transito, are you going to cook dinner? Uh, number four, no, they, they, no, they are. They're going to have a party. To have a party, sorry. Are you sure? Yes. No. No, 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 no. Let's no. see. Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Letter, uh, letter, letter D. Letter D, all right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, they are. You're going to make pasta. Delicious, by the way. Number three. Let me see. Alba Aguilar. Hey, Alvita, are you going to exercise this evening? This. Mm, yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Right, very good. Yeah. Thank you, Alberta. And let me see if I have Kevin, number four. Is Bill going to do anything after work? After work, I'm sorry. 
I miss the K. <laughs> Let's see, Kevin. Eh, si no me recuerdo, buenas noches. La la B. Are you sure? Porque esto está on purpose, esto está en propósito. Es que yo ya tenía las correctas, pero las tenía que cambiar, right? Let's see. Any volunteer? ¿Algún voluntario? Sí, sí. sí. Uh -huh. Letter E, yes, he is. He is going to visit his parents. All right, let's check those. Eh? There you go. Thank you, Jose. Let's go with number five. Let's see, Janira Peña, number five. Are no, Bon and Andre? I'm sorry. No, no, they aren't. They they going to have a party. All right, that's true. Maybe they are not going to have a picnic, right? Excellent, Janira. Thank you. And the last one. Number six is going to be for Maritza Rivera. So tell me, Maritza, is it going to rain tomorrow? Uh, no, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. All right, excellent. Thank you, girl. All right, so let's submit those answers. And there you go. There you go. These are the correct answers, all right? Let's see. I want to ask you something. How many of you have finished already the midterm exam? ¿Cuántos ya terminaron el midterm exam? Me. Okay, Jose. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Very good. And also Jancy. All right. Excellent. Very good. Jancy, Veronica, and Gaby, ustedes también ya lo terminaron. Right. Very good. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Por eso digo yo, estamos avanzando bien rápido. <laughs> All right, excellent. I'm glad. Let's go with letter C. Select double H questions to complete the conversations. All right, this is a funny part. You have a conversation. So let's see. You have the answers over here. Next summer, we are going to go to Alaska. What do you have for letter A, Gabriela? We are, we are you going to go next summer? Thank you. That's correct. Where are you going to go next summer? Mm, let me see. What do you have for the other letter A? Jancy Jimenez, Alaska, whoa. Let's see, Yancy. ¿A quién llamó? A Jancy. Ah. If not, let me go with Verónica Esmeralda. So, Alaska. Wow, Verónica. <laughs> what do you have? Verónica Esmeralda, are you there? ¿Cuál dicha? Let me see. This one, letter A, Alaska. Whoa. Um, okay. uh, who are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? All right. Thank you. Let me see. Fatima Guardado, letter A, please, again. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to go with? Who are you going to go with? with? Excellent. And let me check the last one, Patricia. Let's see, Patricia. Great. 
Great. When you when are you going to go? That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's submit the answers and let's check those. That's correct. Excellent, guys. Very good. With this, you're going to get to 100, right? So that's correct. Please, if you haven't completed the midterm exam, take notes, all right? Or take pictures, whatever you want. Just make sure that you do have the correct answer so that you are not confused, all right? Let's go with part D. Complete the conversations. Now, these ones are already done, okay? So these ones are already done. I'm only gonna ask you guys to practice with it, right? Esto ya están hechas y solo vamos a practicar con eso, okay? Let me have, let me see. Jose Vega, you are A from number one and Mayra Lopez, you are B from number one. Okay, I have a headache. Let's see, Mayra. Okay. Mm. You have the answer. Take the toast, be honest. Just the only thing that you need to do, honey, is to pay attention. Take. Okay, es que como entré algo tarde, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, no sé, no sé, este, solamente veo la pantalla, pero no, creo que no estoy haciendo el examen. All right, no se preocupe, ya está hecho esta parte, les comentaba que ya está hecha. All right, ah, lo único que les estoy pidiendo es que lean lo que aparece. Y ya José mencionó la letter A, number one, a usted le toca leer la letter B, number one. Ok, entonces sería... And taking, taking, taste pills. Exactly, that's correct. Take these pills, right? Mm -hmm. Take these pills. Very good, okay. excellent girl, thank you. Gabriela Choto, conversation number two, letter A. And Alba Aguilar, and letter B. Okay. What the mother? What's the matter? Alba, are you there? Hi, sorry. Uh, I'm B. Yes, What's the matter? Uh -huh. I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. All right, excellent. Thank you. Hey, guys, listen. Do you remember that a couple of weeks, no, a couple of classes ago, hace algunas clases veíamos esta palabra de stomachache, right? Do you remember? Y aparecía como separada, right? Entonces yo les mencionaba que lo había buscado en un dictionary y aparecía separada. Y luego lo busqué en otro dictionary con ustedes en la clase y apareció unida. So at the end of the day, se supone que sí se puede de las dos maneras, right? Hay palabras que tienen like two options to get into the writing, all right? Hay palabras que tienen hasta dos opciones de poder escribir, all right? Entonces, the stomach the es una de ellas. Huh? With the British way. And I don't know if it is the British way, but it's just appeared like that in some dictionaries. Y no fueron solo dos, después busqué no, y también me parecía separado. Pero también en otra información que estaba leyendo parecía unido. So it could be either or. Right, so but it's very good what you mentioned, Alba. Actually, sometimes things changes according to the type of English. Right, in this case, we have both in British and American English. But you are learning American English, all right? So let's see. Let's go with conversation number three. Sonia del Transito, you are A, and Jolie Garcia, you are B. Action. Sonia, your microphone. Sorry, teacher, es que se le escuchaba cortado. Uh, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Um, how do you feel today? How do you feel today, Jolene Garcia? What's going on? Calling people and people is not answering me. Do I have anything with my internet or it's just that you're not in class? Let's see. Let's see. Janira Peña, can you please be letter B? Not so good. I have sure eyes. Sort of eyes. Right? I have sort of eyes. Excellent. Thank oh. you, Janina. Thank you. Let me go with conversation number four. Let me see. Jancy Jimenez, you are A. And well, no, you are this this first B, and the other B is going to be Jose Vega. Action. Don't exercise. Uh -huh, Jose. And use this medication. Exactly, very good. I have backache, all right? Dolor de espalda, I have backache. Don't exercise and use these medications. Guys, please, you are aware about this information. So when you are doing the exam, the midterm exam, you have to be very careful, right? So that you don't get confused. And let's go to the next part. We have home remedies, right? So I hope you like home remedies because today you're going to learn some of them. It says, read the article. Instructions, let me see. Mayra Lopez, can you please read the instructions? Okay, uh, read the, me dijo que repitiera, verdad? Yes, que leyera. lea las okay. instructions. Okay. Read, read the article. Article, es verdad. Article. Article. Tense, article. Mm -hmm. article. Then select the correct home writing for each condition. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Very good for each condition. Condition. Okay, guys, give me one second, all right? Just give me one second. All right, let's continue. Let's see. Que sucede que a veces algunos de sus compañeros me escriben en el chat, in private chat, to tell me that they won't be able to be in the class, so I have to tell them something, all right? So there you go, then we have home remedies. Let's check these readings. Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try these simple home remedies. Let's see, Sonia. Tell me the remedy for a cold. Deme el remedio para un resfriado. Resfriado. Mm -hmm. Sonia. I see that your microphone is open. <laughs> Maybe you have troubles. Let me see, Gabriela what, Choto. Tell me the remedies about. What can you do? What can you do for a call? What can you do for a call? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink. Sonia, si llega a escuchar una interruption, es porque yo pensé que no me iba a contestar. All right. Pero puede continuar. ¿Qué can do you for a cool? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper. 
sugar, lemon juice, and milk. That's correct. Thank you, Sonia. Very good. What about a headache, Elizabeth Campos? What can I do if I have a headache? What about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head mm -hmm. or splash your face with cold water. You can, I don't know how to pronounce it. You can also. Also. Ah, you can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. All right, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Anna, Gloria, let's see, Anita, tell me the remedies for a cold. A cold. Would you have a uh, All right, thank you, Anna. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, no, actually, Anita, casi no la escucho porque hay unos ladridos y también creo que está muy lejos de la cocina. Pero estuvo correcto. No, si puede volver a leerlo, please, porque no la alcancé a escuchar. Do you have cold dry wear tea of take some honey? This can make your drunk friend better. Yes, in this one, Anita, better. Feel better. 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 Exactly, that's correct. That's the only thing. Thank you, Anna. And let's go with insomnia. What remedies do I have for insomnia, Jose Vega? Okay, uh, insomnia. Can sleep at night, drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bulk. Exactly, that's correct, thank you. Okay, now listen guys. Como estos son los, bueno, no, yo creo que sí tenemos otros readings en la clase. All right. So let me go with this. Let me move on. Let's see, Carla Patricia. If I have a cold for a cold, what are the remedies that I have? A cold for a cold. Uh, put a cold. <clears throat> for a cold, put a cold. A cold cloth on your head. All right, excellent. Thank you. Good remedy. Um, Let's see, Veronica Esmeralda. If I have a cold, what can I do? Um, I don't remember. Uh, I can see the. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, you can drink water tea or take some honey. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's check number one, guys. A ver, chequemos la number one. Let me see, Gabriela Choto. Nice, no, correct. No, it's not correct. Let's and see, Marisa. Some, some people and how chicken salt. Some people chicken That's correct. Very really good. Very really good. Now, if I have a headache, Gabriela Choto, what can I do if I have a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head. Right, excellent. Thank you. I'm gonna try it. And the last one, the last one, let me see. Fatima Guardado. For insomnia, Fatima, what can I do for insomnia? 
drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. That's correct, excellent girls and boys, thank you. All right, so there you have it. These are the correct answers, all right? If by any chances you didn't have the time to complete the midterm exam, we finished in here, my dear students, all right? And you have the complete answers. You just have to finish it and then you will have your 100%, all right, of the grade. So let me stop sharing these. Yes, yes, I noticed. Okay, let me stop sharing this, guys, and I'll be right back with you with the PPT. Okay, now listen, <laughs> we already finished section three, but I was checking our video of last class, and I believe that we should do a review about how to give directions. Listen to this thing. You have learned propositions of place, but talking about the location of a place is not the same as giving directions, right? Hablar de la locación o de dónde está localizado un lugar no es lo mismo que dar direcciones, right? Entonces, vamos a practicar con las directions. Ya practicamos la clase antepasada y pasada con las prepositions of place, pero que hay de practicar en dar direcciones, right? So, don't forget, de acuerdo al video que vimos ayer, teníamos four questions. How do I get to the hospital? How can I get to the city bank? Or how can I get to the park, All right? Then you have four answers. Cuando dice four answers, se refiere a las respuestas, que son estas, ¿verdad? Tenemos, let me see, three, six, seven, eight. Eight answers, All right? So you have walk up. Let me see, ¿qué significa walk up? Caminar arriba. Exactly. Caminar hacia arriba. Right? Excellent. Y si yo digo go up, ¿a qué me refiero? Suba. Suba. Subir la cuesta. Right? Ya con go up, amiga, ya no utiliza el, el walk. Entonces ya solo es subir. Right? Subir. Solo es de subir y subir. So let's see. Then you have Walk down. Y si yo digo walk down, ¿a qué me refiero entonces? Camine hacia abajo. Exactly, very good. Y es importante que sepamos las dos diferencias, right? Y si yo digo go down. What do I mean? Bajar. Simple Bajar. As that. Simple as that, right? Easy piece. Está bien facilito, right? Bajar. And then you have. Esta aclaración sí se las quiero hacer. Usualmente cuando utilizamos go up o go down, no es obligación, pero usualmente eso se utiliza cuando no estamos ejerciendo la, la acción de caminar, right? sino que vamos tal vez en un medio de transporte, ya sea en un bus, en un carro, whatever. All right? Entonces ahí utilizamos esto de go up o go down. Right? Porque si vamos en carro no vamos a decir walk down o walk up. No tiene sentido. And then you have turn on left. ¿Qué significa turn on left? Quiere a la izquierda. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's correct. And if I say turn right on, ¿a qué me refiero? A la derecha. Mm -hmm. Exactly, ir a la derecha, right? Vamos a llevar estas diferencias. No son los mismos con los que vamos a ver ahorita. On the right. Si yo digo on the right, let me see. Mayra López. ¿A qué me refiero si yo digo on the right? On the right. Recuerdo que on the right es a la derecha. Exactly. That's correct. And Maritza, if I say on the left, ¿a qué me refiero? Ah, 
Maritza, are you there? Sería ir a la izquierda. Left. Yeah, you're right. A la izquierda. All right, everybody. Let's check. Ya nos acordamos de este vocabulary, means Ya lo manejamos, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, eh, turn left on. Esa, esa no, no, no la tenía. Turn left on es gire a la izquierda. Gire a la izquierda. Yes. ¿Solo esa, Sonia? Y turn right on. Sí, sí, solo, sería solo turn left on, porque lo demás sí, ya, ya me... All right, excellent. Very good. Eso me gusta, que me pregunten. Y si yo puedo, se los contesto. Right, excellent, Sonia. Thank you. All right, now, let's move on, guys. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿Para qué lo estamos viendo? Well, teacher. Ajá. No le escuché porque tengo problemas con mi inter. All right, all right. ¿No me escuchó o, o ahorita es que no me escucha? No le escuché cuando me respondió el, el significado de turn left on. Ah, turn left on is gire a la izquierda. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Sonia. No se preocupe. La verdad es que ahorita hay problemas con el internet en todas partes, creo yo. All right. Sí. So, let's see. Then we have esta practice. A ver, vamos a practicar solo con estas dos preguntas y con las respuestas que ya tenemos ahí. Porque después les va a tocar a ustedes crear sus respuestas para tres preguntas específicas que yo tengo. Ok, so let me check. Albita, Alba, usted pregunta, question number one, y escoja a su victim para que le dé la direction. Mm -hmm. Estas tres direcciones. The victim. Ok. How do I get to reply? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? I, um... Carla Patricia. Right, excellent. Walk up, go, walk up Fifth Avenue, turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. right excellent. Thank you, girls. Now, let me see. Jose Carpio, you ask. Usted hace la pregunta and then you choose your victim. Y escoge su víctima. Let's see. Okay, teacher. Eh, la víctima. Ah, la, con respecto a la víctima, la tengo que elegir yo, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> The victim. Bueno, el, que tiene la, el que tiene una mano ahí que dice Gabriela Choto. Ah, okay. Entonces, okay. Quiere, quiere participar. Va de... No, esa mano no sé, no se puede quitar. Yo la la puse una vez y, y ya, no, ya no, no se puede quitar. No, es que saber por qué pasa eso, Gaby. A veces se quedan como estandarizadas ahí. Sí, sí, ahí estuve viendo y no sé qué, qué le pasa. Ok, pero aprovecho la oportunidad de practicar. Let's see. ¿Cuál okay. ¿Cuál Bueno, la. Question is, okay, uh, how can I get him to Rockefeller Center? No, this one, Jose, to Brian Park. Ah, la misma. The same. Esta no la hemos hecho. Esta no okay. la hemos hecho, hicimos la de Rockefeller. Ah, it's cierto, okay. Uh, how can I get to Brian Park? Uh, Gaby, how can he get to Bryant Park? Mm. Solo well, no da las respuestas que están aquí. Waldau, Fifth Avenue. Okay. Todavía no llegamos. <laughs> oh, uh, to right on forty two second. Second street, it's on the left. That's correct. Thank you, guys. Very good. Let's hope Jose gets to the place, right? Esperemos que pueda llegar, Jose. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Gaby. Thank you, Jose. So, what are we going to do next? Practice time. Let me see. 
Veronica Esmeralda, can you please read the instructions? Practice time. Work in indivi indi in individual. individual. Answer the following question. Copy the answer on your notebook. Take your time and analyze your answer. And share your answer with the class. Excellent, thank you, girl. Now, these are the three questions that we have. Yo les recomiendo que tomen captura o copien estas tres preguntas porque luego me voy a pasar al mapa para que ustedes busquen los lugares, right? Y les voy a dar un punto de inicio. Así que, if you want, les doy unos minutitos para que copien esas questions. Para no agarrarlos al... Así de sorpresa, right? Les he puesto las questions y ustedes se van a tomar su tiempo para hacer sus respuestas, right? Let me know when you're finished copying these questions, right? Me avisan cuando terminen de copiar las preguntas para regresarme al mapa. Finish, teacher. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So let's move on. Very good, Jose. Thank you. All right, girls and boys, let's check this up. ¿Qué van a hacer? This is the instruction. Answer the following questions. Ya tienen ustedes cuáles son las preguntas, right? Luego dice, copy the answers on your notebook. Y miren esto, take your time and analyze your answers, right? Porque esto no es solo de dejar seguir, sino lo vamos a perder. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Vamos a tomar este punto de partida. En el video es starting point, right? Desde aquí vamos a empezar a caminar o nos vamos a ir en carro, whatever you want. Desde aquí el Empire State Building, ese es nuestro punto de partida y de ahí comenzamos a hacer las sentences, right? If you have questions, you can ask me as well. Eh, van a ser... ¿Tres respuestas o solo una? Es mm, Garabi. Solo una respuesta por, bueno, va a depender de cuántas calles tengan que tomar. All right. Si tienen que tomar dos calles o una sola o van a girar, ahí va a depender de eso, right? Pero en teoría solo sería una por cada una de esas, right? Porque en cada sentence okay. van a ir poniendo algo más. I have the question where we are. Ah, we are in Empire State Building. This is our okay. starting point. Okay.
Aún me sostraí. If you have questions, you can ask me, right? Teacher, ¿cuál dijo que era el punto de, de, de partida? El the higher the state, state building. Aquí estoy state. yo, ¿eh? <laughs> Waiting for okay. you. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ahí estamos y ahí me perdí. Así que de ahí me ayudan, please. <laughs> Let me know when you're finished, please.
Okay. Has somebody finished at least one or two? Finish, teacher. Excellent, very good, thank you. <clears throat> One more minute and we start with the sharing, all right? Okay, so let's get started. Let's see. Number one, it was it was pretty easy, right? Because you already have a clue about the answer. So let's see, Dinora Hernandez. Let me see. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? And let's go go Fifth Avenue and turn left on. Go Fifth Avenue and turn left on. Mm -hmm. Turn left on. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Y hasta qué calle voy a llegar? Porque voy aquí por la Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue y la calle sería la la cuarenta y nueve. Forty ninth, right? Forty ninth. So turn left on 49th Street. 49th Street. That's correct. Thank you, Dinona. Very good. Number two, how can I get to New York Public Library? Veronica, help me, please. Um, go up Fifth Avenue. Only go up on Fifth Avenue. Okay, let me see. You're right. It's okay. Podemos quedarnos solo con go up Fifth Avenue porque está aquí nomás, right? Está pasando la Fifth Avenue. Pero también podemos hacer uso de esto. Miren, eh, let me see. Por aquí está. It's on the right. It's on the right, right? Para hacernos saber que está a la izquierda, podemos decir, go up Fifth Avenue is on the right. And that's it. You don't need to complicate yourself. And let's go with the last one. Number three, how do I get to Grand Central, Central, Central Terminal, Jose Vega? How do I get to Grand Central Terminal? 
is wall and Fifth Avenue and turn left on 42nd Street. Mm -hmm. Very good, 42nd, let me see. 2nd Street. ¿Y qué tal si me voy mejor por la Madison Avenue? No sé. Um, también. Okay, so you can tell me, turn on right and go on Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue and turn left on Second Street. That's great, excellent, very good, Jose. There you go. All right, guys, I finally made it. Por fin llegué a los lugares. All right, excellent. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody. This was pretty much it for today's class. Con esto yo puedo, eh, espero que terminen su section three. Yo que ya que ahora es el último día. All right. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Have a great night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.